Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we're going to be going over how to set up your own personal green screen. Now, this is mostly going to be towards Twitch streamers, really anybody who wants to live stream, whether it's on Twitch or on YouTube. This is going to be the easiest and pretty much the main way to do it, at least for the beginner uh, streamer. Now, if you're more of a professional streamer, you probably have your own way of doing this, and that's totally fine. This is just a video to help anybody beginning with the steps of streaming and to get the most professional looking kind of stream to go with, as well as an easy to put together green screen effect, essentially. Now, as you can see, obviously right now we don't have the best setup. So right now you can see a little bit over here is coming through and of course on the left side here, and it does cut off on the sides. Um, and I'll get more into this, more depth into that and why that is in a second. And hopefully this video helps anybody out there who's looking to set up their own personal green screen. So let's get into it. All right, so now as you can see, we are looking at my computer display and what the program I'm using to do this with is called Streamlabs OBS. Now it's open broadcast software. You can actually use this with any software uh, that was open broadcast. So you can use regular OBS or I personally would recommend Streamlabs. It's one I've been using for years and it works really, really nicely with both YouTube streaming and Twitch streaming. You just have to log into your Twitch or your YouTube account before uh, setting up your pages because it'll remember everything you set up and it also sets up for donations or like really any type of notifications that you have on your respective platform. So that's really cool. That's all linked with your account. So we're not going to get too much into that because that's not what this video is about. This video is, is stating, let's say you have Streamlabs already and you want to just add a green screen. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to make a whole new scene and I'm going to kind of recreate what I just did. So the first thing you want to do is add your webcam. So you obviously want to have some type of video camera or in my case, I just have a HD webcam set up to your computer already and with the drivers and everything installed. You're going to do add a new source and we're going to select video capture device add source and now if you've already had a source in here before like a webcam you'll notice it as an existing source or we're going to add a new source but i'm just going to add the existing source just so we don't get too confused here all right so when you first add your webcam you're going to see something like this now i'm going to switch over and show you guys a different view of my green screen setup and as you can see, I had to put a green screen in the background on my wall. This was like a $40 cheap green screen I got off Amazon. It folds up. It's super nice. And if you flip it around, it has a blue side as well. Super easy to set up. Just put one nail on the wall, hook it up. You're good to go. Next thing you want to do is put yourself and your chair in front of the green screen and make sure it's got enough room around you to capture everything you need to for your stream. I don't move around a lot in my streams. I don't really use my hands a whole lot. My hands are usually on my controller or on my keyboard playing the game because I do a lot of gaming streams. So it wasn't a huge necessity to, to me to have a lot of extra arm room. So that's why you can see here, my wall cuts off on both sides, but this wasn't a huge reason or big deal for me. So it worked out great. Now, obviously I could rotate this horizontally if I wanted to get more extra space if I needed to down the road, but for right now, it's totally fine. The next thing you want to do once you got all of this set up behind you, the next thing is lighting. That's one of the biggest things with green screens is proper lighting. Now I'm just using a regular ring light you can get on Amazon, I think for around $80. And this one works really great for green screens because it doesn't cast too many shadows behind you because shadows are going to be the number one thing messing up your green screen. Uh, I also would recommend maybe buying some smaller lights to have on the left and right side of you. I can't really fit them in my proper setup I have right now. So the ring light works great for what it is. But you can get cheaper lights on Amazon for like 20 bucks. They're on little tripod stands and you'd want to put one on the left and one on the right so that's shining a cohesive light around you and not casting a shadow, ruining the green screen effect. All right, so once you got your setup complete, you got your lighting setup complete, the next part is to go into your software. It's because you want to get rid of this green background, obviously, to put your own image. So the first thing you want to do is add an image that you want to be displaying behind you. Most people have like their gameplay setup or their display setup. I'm just going to put a regular image. So we're going to add a source. We're going to select image, add source. And I'm just going to add an image I already had, which is just this cool looking diamond background that I have as my template on YouTube. Next, we're going to want to center this to the display. So we're going to right click transform and we're going to do center or actually let's do fit to screen. There we go. And let's do stretch the screen. So transform stretch. There we go. Then it fills up the entire display. Now we want to move the image below the webcam. 
because we want the webcam of you on top of that image. And the next thing is the most important thing. We're gonna click on your video source. We're gonna right click it and then we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna add a filter to it. By default, there's obviously no filters on it, but we're gonna hit the little plus here. And we'll get a filter type and a filter name. We're gonna click on the type and we're gonna go down to chroma key and you're gonna select that one. You can name it whatever you want. I just leave it chroma key, it's easy to remember. We'll hit done. Now, at the beginning here, it tries its best to kind of do like a default. As you can see, it's already coming through, but we wanna do it as much as we can so there's really no green coming through. So you wanna go to the similarity slider and just kind of move it and get as best you can. So right about there. And then we're gonna use a smoothness tool to do this as well. All right. And you can really pretty much mess with any of these sliders until you get it as good as you can get it. You can use the contrast will to make your face a little brighter. Now obviously, unless you have absolutely perfect lighting, it's never going to look perfect, but don't worry about that. We'll fix this in a second. So once you get it at least as good as you think it is, you're gonna wanna hit done. Another thing too, again, I, I was gonna say, if you do have a different background, so if it's not green, this little color, key color type, you can select uh, what color it is or custom, you can completely choose whatever color you want if that helps as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it on green since I have a green screen and we're gonna hit done. And as you can see, it, it did a pretty good job with putting the image behind me. Obviously now we have these two cutouts here. We have the wall where it ends. So we wanna crop it in essentially so I'm gonna go back to the webcam we're gonna right click do filters again this time we're gonna add a little plus because we're gonna add another filter another filter type we're gonna go down to let's see crop slash pad and then we're gonna hit done again you can rename it if you want but we're gonna hit done and now we're gonna crop in from the left and the right so let's do 60 from the left oh nope, we're gonna need a little bit more than that so let's do 80 even more than that, 100. Perfect, all right. And then from the right, uh, 50, almost 65, still a little more, good enough. And once you get that cropped in as much as you want, obviously I still have a little corner down here it could crop out, not a big deal. Um, this is pretty much your green screen. And then for most live streams, you're not gonna have it this big, so you'd wanna pretty much drag your webcam down and then put it in a spot that's comfortable for you. So I'd say maybe about right there. And there we go. And as you can see, you would never really know that I have a green screen behind me except for when my arms get cut off. So like over here, my arm gets cut off obviously because my green screen got cropped in. But like I said, if you're just playing a game, you're like this the whole time, no one's ever gonna know. And it looks really good. It's, it's pretty much the easiest way to set up a green screen effect essentially for Twitch, for YouTube streaming, you name it. It's only cost, it only uses two different sources. So again, your image or your background display or your game, whatever you have is your background and then your webcam and everything else is just done with filters through right clicking your webcam source and clicking on filters and adding those two filters I talked about. And that's it, it's that easy. It takes literally about five minutes and you're good to go. And then it'll save all of those sources and the way you have it with, again, your account if you just log into that and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video helped you. I hope it, you know, showed you some tips and tricks on how to set up a green screen. I'll have links in the description below if you want to buy this specific green screen on Amazon. And I'll also put in my ring light as well if you'd like to check that out as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like to show your support as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.